What's up guys, it's EA by here, and today I'll be doing an unboxing and review of the Icoda CB300W Mini Smart Projector. Inside the all black cardboard box, there are two boxes with the accessories and the actual projector inside. First up, there is a small plastic tripod that you can put the projector on when a flat surface or a large tripod is not available to rest the projector on during movies. Twisting this knob loosens up the ball head allowing you to adjust the projector to whatever way you like it. Next there is a power cable which plugs into the power brick which I'll be showing you shortly. It's not a UK plug but there's a UK adapter inside the box so you can plug it into the UK mains. The cable is relatively long which is good as it allows you to place the projector in a lot of places even though it has to be connected to power. Here is the UK adapter plug that I was talking about earlier. As you can see, you simply have to plug the cable into the adapter and that's it. It has a tight fit so there's no worries of it coming out unintentionally. Next up is the power brick that I was talking about earlier. This is what the previous power cable plugs into on one end and the other end is a bit that goes into the projector itself. Again, this is also quite long allowing the projector to be placed anywhere and it supplies a whopping 3.7 amps to the projector allowing it to have enough power to run in super bright bulbs. Here's how the cable fits into the brick. Now, up next is the HDMI cable that comes with the projector. It is 1 meter long and made of a plastic rubberized material, like many cheap cables are made of. Because of this, I worry how long this will last, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. The other projectors that I've reviewed all didn't come with a HDMI cable though, so I really shouldn't be complaining. Next in the box is the IR remote. The remote is made of a rubberized plastic, which is soft to the touch. The buttons on this are very tactile and clicky, and not mushy like many other cheap IR controllers are, which I really like. On the top there's an IR centre bar and on the bottom on the back hand side are where the batteries are kept. Unfortunately it didn't come with any batteries but luckily I had some at home which I could easily pop in and use. Though the remote control is quite insignificant, they made it really good which adds to the whole experience. The next cable it comes with is a simple VGA cable. This is so you can share the screen of older laptops or computers that don't have HDMI cables at all, making this projector capable of connecting to a large variety of tech. Now I'm not really sure what the name of this cable is but it has a 3.5mm head jack on one end which connects to the projector allowing you to play sound to older products that use a 3 port sound system like Wii's for example. Next there is a mini antenna which plugs into the projector which allows you to watch live TV straight from the projector as if it's a TV which I think is very cool indeed. Another thing that it came with which I thought was very useful and I've not seen before is that it came with many sheets of optical paper which I can use to wipe the lenses of the projector and remove out all the dust particles anytime the lenses get dirty. Including this really shows how Icodus puts a lot of effort into their projector. Next we have the warranty card that holds all the warranty information. And finally there is the instruction manual which tells you how to use the projector and how to go around the user interface. But it's 2016 so we won't be needing that anytime soon. So finally that's it for the accessories box. Now it's time we get into the main event and open the box containing the projector. When I opened the box my first impressions were that I was surprised to see how small the projector was. Also, it really does look stunning, especially when you move the protective plastic film. Now, it's time for the B-roll footage so you can see the beauty of this projector. This place is too crowded. 
as you can see this projector is really bright with its 3000 lumen bulb and it has many handy features in its back pocket like the ability to easily change the keystone by pressing a single button on the remote. It runs full Android 4.4.4 so you can easily control the settings of the software as you would any Android phone or tablet. The settings are exactly the same as any other Android device making this very easy to use. As you can see here, this projector has about 12GB of storage available when you first get it which is perfect and the fact that it has an SD card slot means that this can easily be upgraded which is just what you would want. As it has two USB ports, I've connected a cheap wireless mouse to the projector to allow me to easily go through the user interface without having the troubles of using the remote. It doesn't say the processing speed of the CPU in this projector, but seeing the way it breezes through programs like YouTube show me that it must be very powerful. I get absolutely no lag when using YouTube and it runs as fast as YouTube does on many other phones which is great. This shows this is a very premium projector and you're definitely getting your money's worth as it is quite expensive. All the footage on YouTube has not been edited in any way so this is the actual speed of the projector. As you can see I'm loading up one of my videos so you guys can see how crisp the videos look and how fast videos play on YouTube from here. I'll also show you how loud the dual 5 watt speakers are on this projector from around 20 centimeters away. Well, this one records it in 60 FPS. It's finally time for the trademark B-roll footage of the camera and I'll also be saying a few quick specs of the camera along with it so I hope you guys enjoy. The speakers on the projector are relatively loud, loud enough to watch movies with maybe two people in a small room, but definitely not loud enough to watch movies in a large room with many people. But this is really not an issue as you can easily connect a Bluetooth speaker to the projector wirelessly or use an aux cable and connect a speaker that way. This improves the sound quality dramatically and makes the whole experience a lot more better. It has an actual native resolution of 720p, making all images look super crisp even when you zoom in, you can barely see any pixels which is insane. As it has an app store you can download any apps you want, so I've downloaded MX Player, Volume Booster, Chrome and ES File Explorer, everything else came pre-installed with the projector. I use MX Player so all the video files on my USB that are connected to the projector are easily displayed to me as soon as I open the app instead of going through the pre-installed file explorer to find all the files. Here's an example of how Move is like on this projector. The picture brightness and crispness are much better than my previous 8-man M9 projector I've previously reviewed. During videos you can change the colour temperature, the brightness, the 3D, the aspect ratio and a lot more to do with the image making it very customisable. There is also a projector settings app which lets you adjust many things with the projector like the zoom of it, the wallpaper, power saving mode, the keystone, the picture mode and which way up the image should be. This last bit is really useful, for example if the projector is ceiling mounted you can easily just switch the image so it can work that way. Finally I'm going to show you that the projector has a full version of the Play Store so you can download literally any application you want, but I wouldn't advise games like Asphalt 8 which are very graphics intensive as the projector won't be able to run it very well. So that's it for my review. Overall I think the projector is flawless and perfect with a super bright bulb and a 720p resolution and overall it's brilliant speed. Because of its performance I think it's definitely worth the £400 price tag. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, make sure to leave a like and sub and I'll catch you in the next one.